All right, good morning, everybody. What is going on? How's everyone today? Welcome to a full and fun day of gameplay streaming here. New releases all day long. Today is Thursday, November 12, 2020. And first of all, before we even get ahead of ourselves, I should say, happy PS5 launch day to everyone out there who is hopefully getting their launch day PlayStation 5s. Um, because there's a lot of chaos out there right now. Just <clears throat> from my viewership. People reaching out to me, contacting me, letting me know how chaotic it is. First of all, people are going in person to retailers to pick up their PlayStation 5s in person. The people who pre-ordered, that is. And for what I'm to understand, many of these retailers, including places like Best Buy, don't have bags big enough to put the consoles in. So there's people walking out of, like, you know, Best Buy and very afraid that people are going to, like, stalk them home and try to rob them to steal their PS5s. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. In addition, many people, sadly, are getting notification today of all days on launch day that they're not getting their PS5 today. Whether there was a shipment delay, whether it just wasn't available and their pre-order was actually bogus. Some people actually told me today they got their pre-orders canceled. On the day of release, imagine that, getting your pre-order canceled. <laughs> wow. That was a really useful pre-order, wasn't it? Um... But anyway, I really hope that if you out there have pre-ordered a PS5 and you're getting one today, I hope it goes down without a hitch. I really do. Um, this whole launch of this console generation has been a general shit show with how people have pre-ordered and gotten these consoles. <clears throat> and today is the apex of the, sh the mountain of shit. You know, yes, it is true that the Xbox Series S and X launched on the 10th, two days ago, but there was only a fraction of the number of people who bought that versus who were trying to get the PS5. In fact, there was a worldwide poll taken, and I think it was like 85% of people who wanted a next-gen console said they wanted the PS5 and or pre-ordered the PS5, while only like 15 to 20% were interested in the Xbox Series S and X. So I'm not shocked that we didn't really hear much in regards to people getting their Xbox consoles two days ago, but today we're hearing so much crap on the internet about the PlayStation 5, okay? <clears throat> so, I wish you the best if you get a PlayStation 5 today. Congrats. I hope you enjoy it. And quite frankly, I'm interested in learning about the console myself. What I'd like to know mostly is about this DualSense controller and the haptic feedback that apparently it's supposed to have. Um, a lot of people were saying it's a game changer in their PlayStation 5 early reviews. And they're basically like, you just need to get your hands on it to understand. Okay, well, I will eventually. And I'm ex excited for that. But I'm just curious how it's exactly is it going to change things in regards to gaming. You know, what is the big spin? Well, how is it going to, you know, what's it going to do? We're going to find out, I guess. Um, but for those of you who are getting it today... Feel free to come on the stream when you get a chance. I know you're probably going to be busy playing your PS5 all day today yourself, but come on by and let us all know. I'd be more than happy to have a lot of fun conversation with you guys. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> You know, in regards to everything going on. Now, of course, there are reports that there are some PS5s that are failing. Some people are saying their PlayStation 5s no longer turn on. Some people are saying their PlayStation 5s are overheating. This... Uh, quite frankly, I'm not shocked. I'm seriously not in any way, shape, or form shocked to hear this. This sounds very expected to me. Whenever there is a new console generation launch, there are hardware failures. And usually it's not until, I would say, like the second wave of hardware that they put out, which typically is six months to a year after the launch window, that they actually fix some of these issues. <clears throat> now, the question is, how many consoles are failing? Because... The Xbox 360 launch was an epic failure. I think it was some ridiculously large amount of consoles that were failing out from the launch. And I had one. I had one of the faulty consoles. Uh, and ended up basically being stuck without an Xbox 360 for about a month and a half, two months, until I was finally able to get another one when they were finally restocked. Um, so it's funny because I had a launch 360 and then didn't have one for like two months when it died. <clears throat> which really sucked. Now, many people are saying they're hoping their PS5 shows up today because it says out for delivery. But, uh, you know, 
Good, good luck. And all I would say is be careful, especially if you live in an area where you might have a high element of theft. Keep an eye out for when this thing shows up. You know, you got to be careful. You paid for it. You don't want some asshole trying to steal it. Um, I wish everyone the best with this launch of PS5, okay? <laughs> As for me, <clears throat> I do have an update in regards to my PlayStation 5 pre-order. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's through Amazon, as you all know. And I already went into a ginormous ex explanation on yesterday's pre-stream of what was going on with me in regards to this. So there's no reason for me to explain the situation again. Alright, if you want the full explanation, watch yesterday's pre-stream. It was very lengthy, and I had a lot to say. <clears throat> okay? Now, there is an update. Amazon has charged me. Okay? They have charged me for both the Pulse 3D headset... And the PlayStation 5. They have updated my orders so I can no longer edit payment method. I can no longer edit the shipment method. Alright? And they're both marked to be the absolute fastest shipment method possible. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Now I sit and wait. It's the waiting game. Right? Will I get one or more of these things today? I have no idea. I might get the headset today. I might not. I mean, I really don't think I'm getting the PlayStation 5 today. Um, I would think I need to at least, in order for me to have any, any actual feelings of, like, excitement or hope that the PS5 is getting delivered, I'm at least waiting for the website to update with tracking info, which it hasn't. Although, I've heard from some people, in particular it was Spartan King, said that what happened with them is they got charged, and then, within about 10 to 12 hours, the website updated, okay, and said that it, the console had already shipped, <laughs> and then had tracking info. Which is weird. So you're telling me they actually didn't bill, bill him, but they had already shipped the console? Like, what? That doesn't seem to make sense. But that's what happened to him. <clears throat> so, this whole process is super messy. Alright? <clears throat> but, the fact that I was billed for the console at least is a step in the positive direction. It means that I will be getting the console. At this point, it's not a question of if I will get it. It's a question of when I will get it. Okay? So we'll find out. And what I will do is periodically during the course of today's gameplay streams, I will check to see if there's any updates via Amazon's order screen or if I get an email, because supposedly I'm supposed to get an email saying when it's actually shipped and having tracking info and everything, okay? Now, it's marked as the fastest delivery, meaning I'm supposed to get it right away, and I live right near the Amazon warehouse. <clears throat> so there is a possibility that I could get an email that says, okay, it's shipped and you're getting it today. But... Probably not, all right? I'm serious. I, I really don't feel positive about it, and I want you guys to understand I'm not getting my hopes up, and I'm not going to sit here all day being like, oh, I'm getting it today, I'm getting it today. I don't. I, I, would, I would guess I'm going to probably get it sometime over the weekend, likely Monday. That would be my guess, and that's just me guessing, you know, but I get the feeling that it's, you know, I'm going to get it, but they're not going to be speeding it to my door, um... <clears throat> because of what happened with the whole payment method and everything yesterday. <clears throat> okay. So, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I get it uh, by Monday. And now, I will tell you the schedule, and I'll tell you how I'm approaching all the games, because everyone's got questions. What games am I playing? What console am I playing them on? Let's talk. Today, I'm continuing on with the existing playthroughs that I've been doing. Got Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon <clears throat> here on the main gameplay stream, which, by the way, has been a really great game. The story is exceptionally good. And now we actually are going to have a party to fight with. It's not just myself running through the streets. It's going to be me and party members, which is really cool, okay? So I hope that you will join me for this stream today. Um, if you don't like Yakuza, fair enough. Don't sit here and complain about it constantly. Just like I said with Watch Dogs Legion this last weekend... This is the release I've chosen to play today. I really like this game. And I'm not going to have a stream <clears throat> where I have people sit here uh, <clears throat> and intentionally are just complaining. All right? I'm just not. I'm not going to sit here and let people whine, 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 whine that they don't like the game. You know what game I'm playing on stream today? If you don't like Yakuza, uh, you know, then don't stick around. I'm going to be doing a variety of stuff over the course of the next two weeks. So you don't have to be here for Yakuza. All right? There you go. Yakuza should be fun. Later tonight, continuation of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Another two hours. We're heading into a new part of the story. We'll see how that goes. For me, the game is still a mixed bag. 
where I feel like the combat and the traversal are kind of wonky. But at the same time, the story's pretty good. The graphics are good. So it's kind of a mixed bag for me. We'll see as we continue on how, how much I, you know, I like or dislike the game. Okay? So that's tonight. Tomorrow, it is Black Ops Cold War all day long. All right? The first gameplay stream, I'm going to be playing Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, where I'm going to be jumping in and seeing what new maps were added from the beta. If you remember in the beta, there were only four maps. So I'm hoping there's many more. Um, I'm excited. I really enjoyed the Black Ops Cold War beta, and I want to play the multiplayer pretty badly. Then the late stream will either be more Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, or maybe I'll play some of the campaign. I, in fact, I'm going to kind of play it by ear and see how I feel after playing it earlier and see if I want more or not. Now, if the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer doesn't work at all, which very well might not, because on launch day, a lot of the times, <clears throat> um, there's issues. A lot of the times there's issues where the servers don't work right. So if that's the case, we'll, we'll tackle the campaign then instead. Okay? Fair enough? <clears throat> so that's tomorrow, Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday will be a mix. I'll either be doing more Yakuza or more Call of Duty on Saturday. And Saturday night will be Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And then Sunday again, I'll either be doing more Yakuza or more Black Ops Cold War. And then Sunday night, maybe I'll do more of the campaign of Black Ops Cold War. All right? Essentially, this weekend is open because if the PlayStation 5 does actually arrive at some point on the weekend, then I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I'm going to be hooking it up. Again, all those things that I promised you we were going to do at launch, we're going to do. Um, but I can't tell you when that's going to be. It could be Monday. It could be next week. You know, it might not even show up till next week. It might not show up for a month. It might not show up until 2027 at this point. And I wouldn't be shocked if it's launch day of the PlayStation 6 and my PlayStation 5 arrives at my doorstep. You know? So, like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm just kind of like, wait and see what happens. I ha that my Here's my attitude, and this is basically how I feel. I'm very happy that I'm a variety streamer. I'm very happy that I kind of planned ahead for all circumstances. Because I didn't know if I was going to get my PlayStation 5 in time for launch. And instead of just bidding everything on that and planning everything around that, I had things in place. Right? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> it's actually a very good thing that most of these other new releases are cross-platform. In reality, if you look at all the at PS5 exclusives, all right, what are the true PS5 exclusives? Demon Souls, Sackboy, Godfall, and Astro. That's it. All the other games, for example, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Bug Snacks, you know, the games that I was interested in playing are cross-platform. You can play them on PS4 or PS5. So, if by some really bad situation I don't get my PS5 anytime soon, let's say I don't get it for another month, I can pretty much still play all the new releases. It would only be Demon Souls, Godfall, Sackboy, and Astro that I can't play. Alright? What? Sackboy is on PS4? Oh. Well, then it would be Demon Souls, Godfall, and Astro. That's it. I didn't even realize that. So, there you go. Alright? So, it's not that big of a deal. I can still play all the new releases. Alright? Now, some people have said, well, Phil, w what about Bug Snacks? What about Spider Man Miles Morales? Those are out today. Aren't you going to play them on PS4? No. Not right now. I'm in the midst of already two major playthroughs. I'm starting a new one with Black Ops tomorrow. That's enough for now. I'll be honest with you. Spider-Man, I'm not super hyped for. I get the feeling it'll be just like the original Spider-Man with a few tweaks or whatever. But it's going to be the same kind of game. It's not anything I didn't play already. Bug Snacks is completely original and interesting. But it's free for PS Plus users. Okay? When you have PlayStation 5. I should, I should change what, how I say this. That Bug Snacks is free on PS Plus for PS5 players. So why would I pay for it? Right? Why would I pay for it now just to have to get it for free later? It doesn't make sense. Okay? So, and by the way, am I excited for Bug Snacks? Yes, I actually told you guys, and I'm still committing to this. Bug Snacks will be the first game that I play on PlayStation 5. I will not boot another game until I've played Bug Snacks. Okay? So I'm committing to that. But. I need to get my PS5 first. Alright? So. 
that's the deal. No, I'm not playing Spider-Man Miles Morales right now. And in fact, I'm not really super hyped for it anyway. No, I'm not playing Bug Snacks right now because I'm going to get that on PlayStation 5 for free. All right? Um, that's how I'm going about it. So it's going to be Yakuza. It's going to be Assassin's Creed. It's going to be Black Ops over the weekend. All right? Let's see what happens. If the PlayStation 5 arrives, great. If not, we just continue on with these playthroughs for a bit. All right? Until I get some kind of an update or I know what the hell's going on here. <clears throat> Fair enough. All right, hopefully that answers your questions because everyone had questions about what I'm playing and how I'm playing it and blah, blah, blah. Now, I would definitely like to get some kind of an update on my PlayStation 5 today, but there's no guarantee. So sitting here and asking me nonstop, Phil, is there an update on PlayStation 5? Phil, when are you getting your PlayStation 5? Phil, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 is a waste of everyone's time and it's just going to be annoying. And I'm warning you for it right now. Please don't do that. All right. Um... Now, for those of you who are getting the PlayStation 5, if you get yours today and you'd like to come in here and talk about your personal experience and impressions, I am very open to that. I would love to hear what people think about the PlayStation 5 on launch day. Like I said, I'm actually very interested in the haptic feedback of the controller. I want to know what it's all about and actually really does it change the gameplay experience or not. Okay? Sounds good? All right. Fair enough. There you go. All right. Okay, guys. Um. So, Yakuza today on stream. Very fun game so far. I really like the story, and I certainly hope that you guys will. Uh, I certainly hope that you guys will join me today for Yakuza. If not, well, I'll see you tonight for Assassin's Creed, or maybe I'll see you tomorrow for a very different kind of day with Black Ops Cold War. All right. Um. My streams are very interactive, as you guys know. And if you cheer, sub, or tip during today's stream, I will give you a live shout-out to say thank you for your contributions. Okay? Today, in particular, tips would help more than anything. Why? Because I have to buy Black Ops Cold War tonight. I just got charged for my PlayStation 5. That was a big chunk. Um, once the PlayStation 5 comes out, I will be buying many games, including Demon's Souls and Sackboy and other stuff. So, right now, tips would help quite a lot. With helping with the cost of all of that, all right? However, if you would like to cheer, if you would like to sub, all those things are very much appreciated. And I thank you in advance for any contributions on the channel. They are not mandatory, nor are they expected, but they are greatly appreciated because you keep things going around here, all right? <clears throat> now, if you take a look at the top of your screens, you'll notice that there is a sub goal for the month. For the month of November. We have a subscriber goal of 825 subs, all right? If we hit that concurrently, meaning 825 concurrent subs, that means that I'll be doing a special holiday event where we'll be doing a marathon of games right before Christmas, all right? It's going to be a combination of games. Some of them I'm going to pick, and mostly my picks will be multiplayer games, likely Black Ops Cold War, maybe some Fall Guys or something like that. We'll see. But also, you're going to be able to nominate games for said event as well, all right? So it's going to be kind of a hybrid event, pretty cool. I'll be dressed up in fun holiday attire, likely some holiday sweaters and the like, and I'll be drinking, having some beer, maybe some uh, some eggnog. In fact, I guarantee you eggnog because I just bought some eggnog from Trader Joe's when I went last week. Um, maybe some hard liquor, maybe some flavored whiskey. Like I had a couple years ago, that shit was really good. Maybe I'll get something like that. But anyway, um, it should be a great time, and uh, I usually have a really good time. You guys seem to enjoy the marathon when I do it, so please consider subscribing to the channel to make it happen. All right, now... There's many benefits to being a sub to the channel, including getting access to over 40 emotes. Three special emotes were just added to celebrate the crazy gaming month that we're about to have. In fact, there's a Call of Duty emote that everyone will probably be spamming as of tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> but some really awesome new emotes added for subs. If you're a paid sub, you do not have to watch advertisements when I take ad breaks. And you get a cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been a subscriber. So please consider subscribing to the channel, or, as they say, tis the season, if you have a friend, if you have a, a colleague here on the streams who you really like, and maybe you want to gift them a sub to be nice, right? Or maybe you just want to do some random gifted subs to people. Please, by all means, that helps as well, and that does count towards the sub goal for the month. All right? Sound good? All right. Cool, guys. Um, That's really all I got to talk about here so what we're going to do now is we're going to shift over to shout-outs for those who have contributed. Um, we actually start off with the Funny Maverick, who did a 50-bit cheer. And he says, I hope you get your PS5 ASAP. 
Whenever that is, I'll be tuning in and supporting your number one for me when it comes to unboxings and new releases. Cool. And I appreciate that support. Sucks I don't get it on launch day, but that's life. Again, I already ranted for a good hour about it yesterday. I got it out of my system. I don't need to rant about it anymore. I'm long past being upset about it. I just can't wait to get it, obviously. Um, but like I said, I'm very happy. I'm a variety streamer. And that the variety, or excuse me, the majority of new releases here across platform, and I can play them even though I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet. Pretty cool. <clears throat> right? So that's good stuff. Um, thank you for the cheer, Funny Maverick. Biohazard Asian has resub for six months. Thank you, Biohazard. Ugh, excuse me. I can't talk today. I like marbles in my mouth or something. Thank you, Biohazard Asian, for a six month resub. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Ruby Atomic has cheered. And he says, It's funny how people who got the PS5 early didn't mention any, pro or any of these problems. Cough, cough, money, cough. Well, two things. <clears throat> First of all, it's very true that people who got PlayStation 5 two, three weeks ago were under an embargo. They were not allowed to just openly talk about the console at all. Every day, they were allowed to talk about a certain feature of the console under a very strict restriction schedule. I'm not kidding. This is day by day. They had a day by day schedule they had to follow for this thing. Um, and then the actual open reviews were allowed to be uh, released. I believe it was Sunday or Monday. I forget. It was basically just a day or two ago. Um... Now, those reviews were able to be positive, or excuse me, were able to be honest and negative if they wanted to. Of course, if you got a three-week early PlayStation 5 console, do you really think you're going to review it negatively? No, of course not. You want to be able to stay in Sony's good graces and be able to continue to get early shit from them, so of course you're going to kiss their ass. And that is the problem with this whole early adopter, early influencer bullshit system, Okay. If anything, the, the one thing that I respect is Super Blind Man because he got a piece PlayStation 5 early. And guess what? He was actually allowed to be honest in his coverage because he was covering it solely from the aspect of accessibility. So he had to be honest and be like, in this launch title, there's an accessibility feature and it works like this and this. But sadly, a lot of these launch titles are not fully accessible to the blind. And he had to be honest about that. He was allowed to be honest about that, which is very good. All right? Um, <clears throat> but you know me. I definitely think that the er whole early adopter crap is stupid. And one person who actually got their early PS5 review console had it brick. And I guess this was some kind of a, a very... Um, I guess it's, it's a respected YouTuber who's kind of middle of the road. They don't hate on stuff, but they don't love stuff. They're not a fanboy. They're kind of a very honest reviewer. And so people were like, wow, it's funny that it happens to them <clears throat> and not to the fanboys or whatever. But um, I don't know. For me, I I always feel, it's kind of like I said. You're Now, now listen, I want to say this up front. I respect Angry Joe as a content creator. I haven't mentioned the guy in a million years, okay? I respect him as a content creator. Makes really great, you know, Highly edited reviews and videos that are well-respected. Alright? But when Witcher 3 was being developed, okay, CD Projekt Red flew Angry Joe to Europe. Okay? To a castle in Europe. Okay? <laughs> they had this insane event. Press event. Right? And it's like, okay... So, you're flying content creators for an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, to a castle, to preview the game, right? Gee, do you think they're going to say the game is good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some situations that you just got to understand that, like, they're not necessarily going to be the most legit, even if it's someone who you trust. And I have a hard time believing that anyone who got an early PlayStation 5 is going to be able to be honest um, about their coverage of it because they uh, now are in a feeling that, wow, I'm in Sony's good graces. And even even if it's not intentional, and I mean this, like there, I, I guarantee you there's people out there who got an early PS5 and now they're so ecstatic, all right, that they did. That they're now under the impression that like, you know, they have to, it's hard to explain. It's, it's basically like you know there's going to be an inherent bias even though they don't intend it, you know? Even though they don't intend the bias, the bias is still going to exist. And 
that's dumb. You know, that is really stupid. But it's just na a natural thing with human nature that this bias will exist if you are getting something for free or you're getting something early or a priority access. So even though they may not intend it, they may not intend for there to be a bias, there's likely still going to be a bias. You see what I'm saying? Um, and that's why I really don't value those kind of really early reviews. I just don't. Other people, hey, if you do, if you do, great. And let's be honest, we did learn a little bit about the PlayStation Five early. It was a lot, a lot of you know, not review style information, but just factual information about the PS Five that was relayed to everyone as a result of those early reviews. But I'm sorry, the day when everyone showed a close up of the fucking DualSense controller to show that there were microscopic Sony shape symbols like square, triangle, X, and circle on the grain of the controller to add extra grip. You know, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. The 72nd person who posted the exact same picture to Twitter because that's all they were allowed to share that day because of the embargo, I wanted to vomit. It's just, it's, it's blatantly shill paid advertisement, you know? So, like, like everything, there's, there's positives and negatives, but... It's funny, you're right, it's funny, all these people got the PS5 early, and there was no negativity whatsoever around it at all, until today, when now people are being like, oh, my PS5 is overheating, and this and that, but that's how it works. That's how it works. Anyone who got it early is basically a paid advertiser. They were paid through getting advanced access to a console, to being, to just be giving it free advertisement, and we all have to understand that, see, it's... The, I don't believe in the practice, but at the same time, we all have to be smart and understand that's what the practice is, right? This is not like, oh, Sony's being nice. This is not Microsoft is being nice and giving out giving out consoles for free. No, they're doing it for a reason. They're getting free promotion out of it, you know? So understand that and take everything that everyone says with a grain of salt. You have to, <clears throat> okay? Uh, Shui701, cheers. This is my, my Xbox from Amazon. I got charged the day before. It shipped around 2 a.m. on launch day. It made it to my house. I do not have a distribution center in my state. If you live near one, you may be lucky enough to get charged and shipped the same day. Let's cross our fingers. Sounds good. So Shuey said uh, they got charged, and then overnight it shipped. Well, I got charged overnight, actually, because I went to sleep last night. And when I woke up this morning, they had charged me overnight. So it's likely sometime during today I'll get an update stating... Oh, you know, here's the status, it's shipping or whatever, and here's when you'll actually get it. I'm not expecting it today at all. Like I said, that would be... that. I, it's not out of the realm of possibility. It's just insanely unlikely I would get it today. Insanely unlikely, right? I would think over the weekend or Monday at the earliest. I'm definitely not expecting it to getting it today at all. I think there's zero chance I'm getting it today. So... <clears throat> anyway, Shuey... Congrats on getting one. I hope you enjoy it. And again, you want to share your experiences with us today? Let, let us know. I'm very curious. What do you think of the console? Horatio Razalon did a 130-bit cheer, and that is the top cheer of the day. Uh, excuse me. That is absolutely disgustingly revolting, and I'm very sorry about that. 100 and... No, 130 bits cheer. So let's get that on the leaderboard. And he says... Any idea how you're going to juggle the new releases once you actually get your PS5? Is there actually a plan yet? I mean, not really. <clears throat> okay. Um, because the thing is, once I get PS5, now this opens up me up to the realm of Demon Souls, Spider-Man Miles Morales, etc. Now, as I told you guys, the three games on PS5 I want to cover right away are Demon Souls, Spider-Man, and Bug Snacks. Those are the top three. Godfall, Sackboy, Astro, those are going to wait. I'm not going to be playing those. Those are going to wait. Because I just... Even though they are launch titles and people might be interested in them, I have to weigh and balance what I'm doing. I have to realize I can only juggle so many playthroughs at a time. And it's money concerned as well. So I'm only going to be playing three of those games, like I said. Um, <clears throat> so those will be playthroughs I'll be mixing in with Yakuza, Assassin's Creed, and Black Ops. Yes, that means essentially I'll be juggling six playthroughs. So I guess you guys now understand when I told you that the chill night streams had to go away for a while. I hope you understand why. Okay? There's a good reason why. There's no way I could do chill night streams and only be playing these games once a week each. 
that would be pretty stupid. So that's why, okay? Um, but we're going to play it by ear. Even this weekend, without the PlayStation 5, we're playing it by ear and kind of juggling stuff around depending on how you guys like it. So, <clears throat> Okay, thank you for the biggest cheer, Horatio. Westside Rascal did 100-bit cheers. So looking forward to when you get your PS5. Me too, thank you. Cashmere Goat, resale for 14 months. Thank you, Cashmere Goat, for the resale. Arch Tekken, tipped me a dollar and became the first tipper of today. So let's get him up on the leaderboard. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. He's a saving up for my own f physical PS4. I will buy it after a month of release. I think he meant to say PS5 because I don't think he's saving up for a PS4. If you're waiting for a month after release, you're way late on that. All right, then he says, Do you think they'll handle orders poorly or better over the course of the month and beyond? I feel like mine won't even get delivered around Christmas time, probably next year. Uh, who knows? I mean, very honestly here, <clears throat> right? Who knows? There's no way to know um, what's going to happen. If, if they're not even getting it right at launch... Who knows what's going to happen in a month or two when everyone's trying to scramble to get one for Christmas for their kids and stuff, right? I, I don't know what to tell you. I wish you the best, though. Slimy Weasel Scum took me $5. It's sad you can't get a PS5 on launch day, but we can have fun with new releases. That is correct. I don't know what the hell kind of a name of Slimy Weasel Scum is. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what... I don't even know how to comment on that one. But thanks for the $5 tip. I appreciate that, slimy weasel scum. <clears throat> okay. Uh, welcome to Snap City, Cheers. If Sony offered you a PS5 early, you would decline it. That would be tough to do. Um, it's very simple. If Sony offered me an early PS5, I would say to them, I will only accept this if you allow me to be honest about the console. If I have a criticism, I want to be able to give it. And if they say, no, there's a review embargo, you can't give a criticism when you get it, I would decline. I would say, I don't want it. That's the God's honest truth. I can't not be honest. I can't just be a PR machine. I can't be a fucking paid advertisement. I'm just not me. That's never been me. And that's why I didn't seek the, the early consoles. Guys, I want you to understand something, all right? I have daily viewership. If you actually look at unique viewers on Twitch, over a 1,000 unique viewers watch me on Twitch every day. I have hundreds of millions of views and a 12-year legacy on YouTube. Is there a lot of negativity associated with me? Yes, but at the same time... I give exposure to games. All the time behind the scenes, I get people contacting me about, will you will you advertise my game? Will you show off my game? Now, admittedly, it's mostly indie games because those are the guys that are most desperate for exposure. But if I actually worked with a PR firm, because there's these different PR companies for various things. There's a Sony, there's a Microsoft one, there's other ones for like Bethesda and stuff. If I worked directly with those people... Chances are I would get advanced release copies of games. I would get advanced consoles. There are channels on YouTube and Twitch that have one-tenth the amount of viewers and following that I have, and they got early consoles and they get review copies of games. It's actually not that hard these days, as long as you can show that you have consistency in your work ethic and you have a dedicated audience that will actually be influenced by things you say and do. You can get things for free, all right? It's not that hard, <clears throat> okay? But the fact there is, I don't want that. I don't want to get something early and then not be able to be honest about it. That is not me. That's never been me as a content creator, and it never will be me. And why do you think, right, I am not ever going to be featured or favored by these companies? Because they don't want a content creator like me. They want someone who's going to play by their rules, they want someone who will get the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X three weeks early and sit there every day and only put out positive things about it per their their require, strict requirements and basically kiss the console's butt for three weeks straight. And I'm not going to do that. You guys know I'm not going to do that. That's not, who I'm, that's not who I am. That's not what I'm about. That's not who I'll ever be. I am here <clears throat> not because I have corporate backing, not because the publishers of games like me. I'm here because of you. All right? And this is being nice, open, and honest with you. All right? I'm here because of you, the viewer. You guys, for 12 years, have kept me going. And especially these last four years that I've been a full-time streamer, it's your crowdfunding support that allows me to do what I do. 
it's not because I sold out and I'm kissing someone's butt. It's because you guys are here for me. That's why I'm different. That's what I like about what I do is that I can be me and I can be honest every single day that I'm here. <clears throat> I can be honest with you guys. Okay. And now here we go with this, with the nonsense and misinformation. Didn't you advertise a gaming chair that you didn't even have yet? No, I didn't advertise it. I said, I have a partnership with them. Give this the, the site a look. And when I get my free chair, I'll review it honestly. But this is it. People want to bring up shit and basically be like, oh, see, Phil's lying. No, you're, you're a lying piece of shit because you always got to try to discredit what I say. Fuck you. All right? You're a piece of shit. You're a liar. All right? I don't shill for anyone. I never have and I never will. That's why you're not going to see me with these opportunities of, oh, free shit, advanced shit. I could very well have them. <clears throat> but I refuse to play by the rules of an industry that I feel is very dishonest. They're looking for free advertisement and free shilling, and I'm not going to do that. I'm just not. So, no. If Sony had personally contacted me, which they're not going to do, you had to contact Sony. You had to contact Sony's PR department to get involved with the process. And if they had said, we're going to give you an early PS5, but you have to kiss its butt for three weeks and not be honest, and here's your embargo schedule, you can only talk about this on this day and this on this day, I would politely decline and say, thanks, but no thanks. I really appreciate the opportunity, but I don't want it. I'll wait and I'll get my own and that way I can be honest about it. CM Fool, to me $4.20, I said, did anyone tell you the differences between male and female in Assassin's Creed? The male is slow but tanking while the female is fast and does more damage. No, no one said shit. No one said anything and, you know, I didn't know that. I really don't like the combat style of, of the guy. I don't. I think he sucks. But I guess that's it. I guess I, I, I didn't know that there was any difference between the two. I tone to me three dollars says don't get the vaccine it will turn you into a gay frog who lives on soy. All right, I gotta stay away from the gay frog soy vaccine apparently. Thank you very much, I tone for the uh, the cheer the uh, tip there. Stir smart and king cheered. He says yup, I honestly didn't keep up with these reviewers at all. I don't care to watch them. Uh, I take the thing out of the box. We all knew what it looked like. They've even been allowed to show actual UI or anything. Or have they been allowed to show the UI or anything? Either way, mine's off for delivery right now. If you just got charged and have two-day shipping, I think it might show up this weekend. It's going to. I get the feeling I'm going to get it probably over the weekend or Monday at the latest, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, they were allowed to show things, but it was on a strict schedule. So one day they were told, today you can show the controller off. Then the next day they were like, today you can actually turn the console on and show everyone what it looks like when you turn it on. Today you can explore the UI. Today you can show screenshots of this game. I'm not kidding. This is like a, a, a very detailed day-by-day -day waves of content schedule that these people were allowed to make. And then they weren't actually allowed to review games of the console until a certain date either. And then they weren't even allowed... I'm serious about this. They were not allowed to say anything negative about the console until the actual review embargo lifted, which I believe was either Sunday or Monday of this week. So just think about this. They had that console for three weeks and they were not allowed to say a single negative thing about it because of a review embargo. <laughs> That's just insane. <clears throat> okay. No, MDK. You're a complete fucking idiot. That is a very slanderous thing that has been mis uh, misrepresented about me for about five years. It's a lie. I've explained it a million times, and since you'd like to keep spreading that rumor, which is completely unsubstantiated, you're now permanently banned from my stream chat. Go fuck yourself. What a fucking idiot. <clears throat> People just love conspiracies because they're dumb. All right, silly and fun positive man. Did 100 bit cheers, and my PS5 came this morning, but I have to work. And then I'm on a hunting trip when I get off, so I won't get to play till Monday. <laughs> Dude, all right. I'm, I'm serious about this. Silly and, and fun positive man. Make sure that console is in a secure area. Alright? Someone might get wind of what it is and fucking try to steal it, dude. Be careful. If you have a friend or a relative who can go get it for you, yeah, if it's sitting on your on like your doorstep, you gotta have someone secure it. Don't let that shit sit around for days. That ain't good. That would be a horror story. And when you get it, hide it. <laughs> Put it in a vault. Put it under your bed. Hide it with your stinky socks or something, you know? Who cares if the console stinks as long as you actually have it? Hide that shit. Okay, Ripley Atomic Chudy says, Do you know 
when there'll be Twitch discounts for subs and cheers, they do sales. Typically, they do it two times a year. <clears throat> September, which was a big dud this year, because when they did it, it was only like a very small discount. Usually it used to be like half off. This year it was like 20% off or something stupid, and no one liked it. Now, typically they also all also do it around Christmas. Usually it's like the month of December. But being that the sub the September event was such a flop, most people are actually guessing that the the anything they do for December will also be a flop. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what to tell you, but I'll let you know if I hear anything. Super Scuba 06 resell for three months and said I got my PS5. What should I play first? Bug snacks, baby. Always bug snacks. You don't even have to ask. Westside Rascal Cheery says, think about those day one views, you can make the money. What are you talking about? No, there are no day one views. If you're talking about the early PS5, which I'm assuming what he's saying, you can't do day one views. You have to go by a schedule of content. Content creators were not even allowed to put out videos until a certain day. And those videos all essentially were the same. Because again, they weren't able to review anything. They were only able to show something. So imagine, okay, today's my unboxing. And I can't comment on the unboxing. All I can do is open it up and show you everything and say, okay, guys, thanks. And then that's it. That's the end of the video. Can't comment on it. Can't do anything. That's what these people had to do. That's, you know, I couldn't, that's not, there's no day one views involved here. It's basically just being in Sony's good graces or Microsoft's good graces. That's the benefit of it. CM Fool tipped me two dollars. Says Assassin's Creed did give you a third choice in which the character gender is cosmetic. Um. Well, what do you mean? You mean the, where they choose, right? The option where the game chooses. That's right. And I, I chose male because I just played as Cassandra, right? In Assassin's Creed, was it Cassandra in Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey? So I, this time I learned I wanted to be a dude because I was just uh, a woman in the last game. So. Alexander Rossi cheered. He says, don't sleep on Astro's Playroom. I went into thinking it was just a tech demo. It actually has a ton of depth. I've heard that. I've heard that actually Astro's Playroom currently is the best um, the best, way, the best game when it comes to the haptic feedback of the controller. Like, the controller really showcases itself off well when you play Astro's Playroom. And other games may have a little bit of it, but that game, like, was designed to show it off. <clears throat> so that's cool. Stay Hughes to me three dollars. So don't worry, PS Five isn't out for one more week in the UK. You can get day one views next week. Well, again, it's not about day one views at this point anyway. If I were gonna get them, they're long gone. So it's not about me that for me. It's just about enjoying it and being able to play those games with my audience. So, uh, conversely, list here he says David Ick has some interesting conspiracy theories. No, I have no idea who David Ick is. So, CM Fool to me two dollars and said. The crow can highlight enemies and items for you. You just have to set the filter in the crow menu. There's a crow menu? <laughs> uh, let's talk about that tonight. See, I'm full. If you're going to be here tonight for Assassin's Creed, great. But I don't even want to talk about that game right now. Seriously, like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it feels like, like 10 steps back from Odyssey. The combat doesn't feel as good. The, the map and the crow is nowhere near as good. Like It just seems like they just downgraded everything. To make it more clunky and, you know, it's very confusing. <clears throat> Alright, anyway. Shout out to the top cheers of the week so far. The week is still young. It's only Thursday. So thank you guys who have cheered so far this week, including Darkseid Krill, Golden Colts, and BattleDuck9000, who are all tied for 8th place. Melody Zelda's in 7th. Uh, Benner Burrito's in 6th. Timbo Slice is in 5th. we got a tie for 3rd between Sambuca2020 and HPC Killa. And second place is Ripley Atomic. And first place, Horatio Razalon. Congrats. Thank you guys for your support this week. Also, thank you to those who've gifted subs this week so far. We've got Chipe672, Randio Butternub, Darkside Elon, and Jack Spartacus, who each gifted a single subscription. Diocletian has gifted two subs. And Django Pops gifted a whopping 10 subscriptions to the channel so far this week. That is very much appreciated. All right, everyone. Well... Let's take a break. I got to use the bathroom. Let's take a brief break. We use the restroom here. When we come back, it's the continuation of Yakuza 7. Now, today I feel we're actually heading into the meat of the game. Today, we're actually uh, going to be doing, um, you know, exploring the open world, trying to do some advancement. We're actually going to have a party of two people for, the, you know, for a major chunk of the today. 
So I feel today's going to be good. It's going to be actually getting into the meat of the game. <clears throat> okay. Conversalist cheers. This is David Icke, some guy who talks about lizard people and totalitarian tic-tac-toe. Sounds like a great guy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Frog Detective did a 100-bit cheer. Yes, I've heard about some controversy regarding the description of some character with burns in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I don't give two fucks because I don't play into fucking this, this political SJW game where people get all up in arms about one thing or the other. Everyone else can have all their drama about nonsense, and I'm going to be playing games and having fun here. I don't give two fucks about the, the drama and the nonsense. Okay? <clears throat> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a break. When I come back, it's your Cruise the Seven time. Thank you for your patience. I shall see you after the break. <laughs> 